first you're gonna to wanna to have your two clips in your timeline. Right at this cut, this is where we're gonna add the transition. And so for this, I'm gonna find three different screen grabs from the video that we're using. So any clips that you have, you're gonna to wanna to find three different sections where you could apply this effect. So I'm gonna use this one here. And so I'm just going to drag over this clip and I'm going to right click and then add frame hold. And then I'm going to move two frames. So as you can see, it's paused for two frames here. And we're gonna find two more other clips to do the same thing. So this is what your clip should look like now. So now we're gonna add different textures to this. So the first thing I'm going to apply is my free ultimate paint pack here. And so we're just gonna go into the folder and go into the assets. And so what I'm gonna do here is go to the X eyes and I'm just gonna do the same thing. And I'm going to freeze frame this, add frame hold. And then I'm going to scale it down. Duplicate the X and just slide it over, kind of mess with the rotation and the scale. So I added the paint strokes to this. So now what I'm gonna do is add some drawing lines and this is gonna add depth and texture to our image. So what I'm gonna do is go into the drawing pack, go into the PNG drawings here. I'm going to add this mouth. So I'm gonna scale it down then go to effects here, type in tint, add tint to it, and then just change the black to white. And so I actually wanna flip this, so I'm gonna type in flip, horizontal flip, and so this line will be on this outside. There's just a little more room to work with there. So what I'm also gonna do is just add a circle as well. So I'm just gonna go back to effects here, and then type in tint, add the tint again, and then change the color to white. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip this again, but I'm going to do a vertical flip. And then what I'm gonna do is click this uniform scale and then change the width a bit, just so I can kind of get it around his face. So as you can see here, there's the paint strokes and then also the drawing strokes. And it looks really good together because there's thin lines, there's thick lines, there's different textures on each of the lines. And I really like what it looks like. I'm now gonna just repeat those steps for the two other clips. So this is what our effect is looking like now. What I'm now gonna do is nest each individual frame as you can tell this effect is pretty fast right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate each layer and I'm going to play around with the scaling here so I'm going to scale this first one in The second one I'm gonna scale inward as well. Something like this. And now you see there's a lot more movement going on and it looks a lot better. So there's gonna be a few things we do now to clean this up. What I'm gonna do is go to adjustment layer, click on adjustment layer, change it to four frames, go to effects, type in Lumetri color, drag that over top, go over to your effect panel, click basic correction, scroll down and click on this exposure, keyframe the exposure and turn up the exposure in the middle and then have the start be zero and also the end be zero. So it's this kind of fl flash effect. 
and then just duplicate this in between each time the clip transitions. So now that the flashes are in there, it looks pretty good. I'm going to move that up a layer and I'm going to add the paper texture from the paint pack. I'm gonna change it to screen and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add a frame hold here. So now you can see there's texture added to it. But there's one last thing I'm gonna do to sell this effect. I'm gonna add some sound effects. So I'm just gonna go to YouTube and I just typed in camera flash sound effect and then I used this one here. So to download that, basically what I did is just go to YouTube to MP4 converter or YouTube to MP3 converter, either one you wanna do it, and then just take the audio from that. And so this is what the the camera flash sounds like and every time it transitions to a new clip I'm going to apply this so we're gonna have it three times so that sounds pretty good but I want to kind of make it sound like they're different flashes each time so I'm gonna to go to the audio clip here then I'm going to gradually turn down the flash So it sounds like it's kind of fading away as it goes into the next clip. Go check out my free paint pack on my website and then also look at my drawing pack as well. These are the two packs that I used for this video. It'll save you lots of time and you'll be able to create really cool effects like this.